Hi, I'm Suzanne Lagoni and I am the past president of the Port Townsend Rotary Club. One of the things that we focus on quite heavily in our Rotary work is international projects. So I am going to introduce you to a few of our fellow Rotarians who have been involved in a variety of international work. And first we're going to talk with Kay Smallwood. She is the Interact Advisory for the Port Townsend Rotary Club. Kay has been involved with an immunization program in Africa. Kay, what inspired you to go to Africa and do polio immunization? Um, I had met uh, Ezra Chomi at one of our conferences and he explained about being in Ethiopia helping to um, eradicate polio. My husband and I had traveled in Ethiopia when we were first married and we were dismayed to see that they were part of the world. The polio still existed. We just assumed everything was like in the United States as far as health. Uh, people crawling on the pavement. So for our 40th anniversary I thought why not go back to Ethiopia and help stamp out polio? And this is, I didn't realize what a big part of um, the Rotary project this was, but I understood that in the past 20 years, since Rotary got involved, we've reduced polio, almost wiped it out. We're hoping to get it really wiped out within a couple of years. Do you have any particular personal memories of this experience? Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, the children and the parents who were so appreciative. I mean, they lived in huts that were made of sticks and cattle um, manure dried, and they were dressed in rags, but they were just shining in their gratefulness. They were um, making sure we didn't miss any children. The teenagers were running around making sure every little child had their finger, you know, their little pinky turned purple that showed that they'd been immunized. And uh, the, just the, the way that people appreciated and they recognized our shirts and they were very, very sweet. Okay, thank you for the work and thank you for talking with us. And another thing I would like to mention about the polio immunization project is it's an, exa uh, an example of how donations that we make locally here in Port Townsend are put together with donations from other parts of the world and also matched by organizations like the Gates Foundation and the World Health Organization that really make the dollars we raise here in Port Townsend go so much further to do things like eradicate, eradicate polio around the world. And here we are back again at the huge Rotary first annual garage sale where we are raising money for a variety of projects that we do both locally here in Port Townsend and around the world. Right now I'm going to talk a few minutes with Scott Wilson. He's uh, the publisher of The Leader, of course, and also past president of our Port Townsend Rotary Club. Scott has been involved with a project called Books for By Call. Scott, what was that all about? We uh, sent some, uh, sent a, took a trip over to the Philippines a couple of years ago, came across some villages that had actually helped hide Americans during World War II, and connected with those villages and found schools there that had no books, zero books. The Philippines is a place in which English is still the official language. So we helped organize a, uh, the, the club organized a book collection drive in Port Townsend and Jefferson County that collected 15,000 books, mostly picture books, that would help kids learn how to read English. And we've shipped about half those books. We're still shipping the other half of the books to schools, uh, four different school districts in the Philippines that will be used to essentially start school libraries in, uh, in these very poor and rural school districts in, the, in a certain part of the Philippines called the Bicol. So the books have arrived. We've heard that they're, they're, you know, they're being put out in the schools and in the kids' hands and actually making a difference in the lives of a lot of children. What did you think of the turnout that you experienced in Port Townsend for your book drive? Well, it was amazing. We collected the books uh, at the leader office, and every day for weeks and weeks, people were showing up with five, six, seven boxes of books. Uh, when we stored them in storage, it was a cube, I can't tell you the number of cubic feet, but it was huge. So people were very interested in donating and very interested in the cause of moving books that, you know, essentially, you know, their families are probably done with and moving them to a place where they'll be used for, you know, years and years by children who really need them. So it was, it was really uh, incredible. And this was more than just our project, wasn't it? We, uh, we worked with the Interact students and some of the other clubs? Yeah, we worked with the Interact kids at the high school. They were very active in it. The Interact kids at uh, Chimicum High School were active in it. And the Sunrise Rotary Club, which is the other Rotary Club in town, was also very active 
and in addition made cash donations to help ship the book. So it was a community-wide effort involving several different clubs. I've been talking with Scott Wilson, who was the project chair for the Books for Buy Call project, in which we gathered literally thousands of books to help children in the Philippines learn to read. Another project of Port Townsend Rotary. Hi, I'm here now with Lowell Bogart. Lowell is the chair of the Port Townsend Rotary Club International Committee. He has been very active for a number of years in helping to build a very important program that we are doing in Guatemala in the Naba area. Lowell, ex uh, describe just exactly what it is that you've been doing down there. Well, we received a matching grant from Rotary International to uh, to bring water from a mountain spring down about five kilometers to the vil uh, impoverished village of Batsaha. And those people had their farms there, but they had no water. So the ladies and the kids had to walk several kilometers every day to carry their water needs. Now that they have potable water in their village, they can build their homes there and reconstruct their lives as a community village, which was destroyed during the Civil War. And this has been a project that's involved a number of people from our organization, and uh, we're excited that the Interact students are going to be going down in a few months and doing their work down there. Yes, the uh, Interact kids, there will be ten of them selected by essays that they have to write to show their commitment to this project. Uh, several, uh, more than six, have written essays, but six will be selected and then four adult Rotarians will accompany them because uh, ten is the, is the maxim maximum we can haul in a vehicle down there. And so they'll go down there and they'll help move the old school into a new location on a new concrete floor that has already been constructed and that's what their project is, a very worthwhile thing. I've been talking with Lowell Bogart, who is the chair of our international committee. Lowell has been spearheading one of the largest international projects that a Rotary Club in Port Townsend has ever done. It's not over. We're going to continue to work on it. It's another example of the donations that we receive locally, that we are able to leverage those, match those with donations from Rotary International, and reach out, touch children, touch families all over the world that need our help. Thank you so much for watching this short little program. I'm Suzanne Lagoni. I'm past president of the Port Townsend Rotary Club. We've been visiting with several of our members about important projects that we're working on overseas, uh, Guatemala, Africa, other areas, the Philippines. It's just part of what we are able to do when people like you support things like our garage sale. We're just finishing off our first annual garage sale. It looks like it's going to be a great success. The money we raise, most of it stays here in Port Townsend. Some of it goes overseas and helps families and children there. You can learn more about us at uh, our website, porttownsendrotary.org, and uh, take a look. You'll find out all the projects that we're helping here and in other parts of the world. Thank you for watching. The major left, the baffled king, Kimper.